hello welcome back so I know I just uploaded a video about the ColourPop cyber little shopping I did but I really wanted to touch base on the specific items from there just because they are fairly new and um, I mean no offense to lighter skin tones but every time I look up these specific highlighters which is the ColourPop highlighters that I'm going to be talking about the duochrome ones I always find them more on light skin um, of my girls and that's nice and everything because I um, I do work sometimes with people with lighter skin tones than I than I am but also I most of the time I'm doing makeup on myself and I know that it is it could be a little bit hard to find certain videos of certain products on certain skin tones so I kind of like to touch base on that a lot especially like on my Instagram I always use the hashtag of olive skin tone or medium skin tone just because the majority of the time, uh, everything that I find is on a lighter skin tone, even if I put in, you know, someone or something in the title specific to my skin tone. Uh, it's really rare for me to find. So I really wanted to touch base on how these highlighters look. Um, I wasn't too impressed with them yesterday when I got them, but I was using them on a bare face, so they didn't really have anything to grab onto. So I thought I would put a little bit of makeup on today and really apply these the way that it recommends and um, sitting on top of a base and really give it a fair shot because these are really really beautiful and I like I said in my last video I wanted the Anastasia Beverly Hills what is it the Moonchild palette and these I thought would be a good alternative to try out and these aren't your everyday highlighters these are for fun they are for you know like if you want to do kind of like a uh, how can I say it like just a for fun video kind of you know costume video I think they're really gorgeous but let me jump right in and get on with why we're here so I am wearing a little bit of minimal makeup today I'm not wearing foundation I'm just wearing concealer my powder foundation from make um, from Mac and I'm wearing Chateau I have my eyebrows done, I do have a little bit of eye makeup on, I always put on some bronzer because I help feel like it helps balance everything out, sorry. But anyways, I don't know why I'm rambling, that's not why we're here, you want to know about the highlighters. So the highlighters that I got, like I said yesterday, I got three of the highlighters, well that's all that they have out is three, and I have Over the Moon, I have, pre I still can't say this right. Prelune, pre, prelune, prelune, whatever. Um, and then I have honeymoon. So I am wearing all three of them on my face right now. It is so intense, but also so wearable at the same time. I do think that they're applied better today with makeup than on right just on my bare face with no primer, no nothing. Yesterday when I first put them on. All I was getting was the glitter. I wasn't, um, not that it has chunks of glitter, but I will show you what I mean. All I was seeing was just little specks of, of glitter, sparkle, shimmer. I wasn't really seeing any color come through. I even showed them to a friend and she's all like, yeah, they don't look like very opaque. They look really, really like chalky. But when I put on my makeup today with the base and everything, as you can tell, they are really gorgeous. And when I face the camera forward you really can't tell they're not so dramatic but when I turn to the side you know you could really I hope that the camera is picking up the different tones and not just you know the beam of it but so I first applied um, this is honeymoon honeymoon is a blue it's a like an icy blue with violet and pink duochrome to it. Like I said in my last video, I will put the exact description down at the bottom. Hopefully my camera will pick it up. But that is what that one looks like. And I put that one on first. What I did is I went in with my finger because that's how they recommend that you use these. Um, I went sideways and I patted it on and then I took my Morphe M334 brush and I used it to kind of blend it out just so that you don't, I'll show you around my finger how it could um, build up around and it could look chalky 
And then on top of that, not going all the way across, but staying like in the, you know, like this much, I applied, if you guys hear mom, I'm so sorry. Um, I applied Over the Moon. Over the Moon is their pink one. So that is what that one looks like. This one has a violet, maybe like a violet silver uh, dual chrome to it. Um, you know, so that one, that is what that one looks like. I will give you guys swatches in just a second. Um, the last one that I have, I hope they do come out with more of these. I would love to see like a purple. Oh, this one is the green one and this one is the Prelune. I'm just going to call it Prelune because I feel like that's right, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that. This is the green one and this one has more of a gold silver kind of reflex to it. So that is what that one looks like. I'm going to look back at this and hopefully it's picking up. Um, so let me go ahead and swatch these on my finger. But it's not going to really do it justice because that's what I did yesterday and I will show you. So I'm just picking some up. And I'm picking up a good amount. I'm going in fairly a lot of times. So you're going to be able to tell. Um, around the edges, it does um, build up product. So that's what I mean about when you apply them. You're going to have to, um, excuse my jagged now. You're going to have to really pat it out so that you don't get that residue at the end of your highlight. You're going to really have to blend that out. But they have, my thing that I was trying to explain to my friend is that they have no like color in the back of them, if that makes any sense. They are really sheer. They have sort of that silicone feel to them, like most, of, like all of their like super shocked eyeshadows do. I'm imagining their blushes feel the same way. I have Electric Slide in their highlighter, and it feels the same way. They all have the same texture. It has no color in the back of it, like no undertone, if that makes any sense. Please tell me that makes sense. Am I the only one that that makes sense to? So that is what they look like. Like I said, they are really transparent if you will like you could definitely see my finger underneath it but when you apply it on top of your makeup it just it's so beautiful and the colors really do stand out I really like it I really do I'm so glad I was so almost disappointed yesterday I was like what am I gonna do you know I just bought three highlighters that I don't really think I'm gonna love but when I tried them on on top I loved it so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay them down on my hand for you they go on so so smooth oh my god so that is pretty much what they're gonna look like on your skin when you apply them is when you could really really tell their shift to them um, of what they are like you can definitely see the violin in this one you can see the pink and gold is in this one and then the screen one. They're just, they're so beautiful. And I feel like if you are lighter than me, these are going to be not as bam in your face. If you're my skin tone, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. If you are a deeper skin tone to more of a chocolatey skin tone, oh my god, these are going to look so gorgeous on you. These are going to really, really bring out the colors that they are. I just, oh please, if you have an Instagram and you're a deeper skin tone than I am and you have pictures wearing these, please tag me in them. I'm at Karina Madrid with an underscore at the end. I will uh, leave my uh, Instagram name down below. I really want to know what these look like on different skin tones because they are just so gorgeous. But I do recommend these. Like I said, I was a little iffy on them. And I'm so glad that I really sat down today, hurried up, put on a little bit of makeup just to test them out. And uh, believe it or not, they really are pretty wearable. This isn't something that I would only wear for a costume look or a Halloween look or anything. I am a bold girl. I am all or nothing. So this is something that I would wear on a regular basis. So, you know, that pretty much wraps this up. Um, I really hope that Colourpop comes out with some more of these. 
They are super affordable. You get a lot of product. Um, there's really no, nothing much else that I could say to them. I did realize, though, yesterday when I had no base on, that they were transferable. I was up against my babies, and they ended up with glitter all over their face. I, you know, would touch my face. I ended up with glitter on my hands. I ha did have fallout, but I will let you guys know in the description if that happens today with the base. But this is, again, what they look like. I'm really going to have to rewatch this video to see if any of this is picking up. I hope so. So let me know if you picked up any of these. Um, if you find other affordable dual chrome highlighters, please leave them down below so that we could all know about it. Let me know what else you guys would like to see for the rest of this year or for next year. Um, this phone does an amazing job on recording. I've been so lazy to bring out my Canon. I did get the we did get the computer fixed. So I've been just lazy to bring out my Canon, but if this quality is bothering you guys, let me know and I will no longer do videos like this. I will just set up my camera and let it be and let it just stay there for when I want to record. I just find this that it's easier for straightforward videos and it it's really hard for me to sit down and actually record and edit and all of that right now just because it's so crazy. So let me know. Oh, now I'm just rambling. My life. I can't get over this. Really can't. It's so gorgeous. Oh my God. Okay. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I hope you guys have a I will try to have uh, at least one more video up for you guys. Let me know. Let me know. I have a two videos. Um, let me know which one you guys want to see in order because I feel like we'll just be on a color pop streak if I put up the one that I want to. I thought I had lost some footage of some color pop collection and swatches that I did, but I recovered that and it's all edited, ready to go. Let me know if you want to see that or if you want to see me doing my nephew's makeup. It's actually pretty funny. He looks so beautiful. So let me know what you guys want to see. And subscribe if you guys haven't already. Please, it would help me out so much. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys later. Mwah.